Good morning, everybody. Another Saturday, sneaker release day. The Jordan 7 Citrus just released today. Probably gonna go do a little pickup. Also, Soko Drip is gonna be doing a grand opening today for the other location out here in the area where I live at. So it should be a happy, fun-filled day. Uh, yeah, it's my birthday weekend, so been enjoying that. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to just just enjoying myself, y'all. That's what it's all about. Just enjoying yourself, enjoying life. You know what I mean? <sighs> I don't know. Might pick up something in Soko as well, depending on what I see. Like they got some heat in there, but some of the stuff I need, some of the stuff I don't need. You know, so we'll see. You know, look, just just looking forward to you know enjoying the scene and enjoying myself. So let's get to it. Let's start this day. Let's start it. Let's start it. Kicks of the day going to be these bad boys. Wearing them for the first time. Jordan 7, uh, Ray Allen's. A lot of people slept on these when they initially came out, but I didn't. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have a day to wear these eventually. So, yep. Going to undest out these Jones today and uh, do what it do. And as always, you got to protect these bad boys with the water repellent. You know, this kind of material on these kicks, you know, easy to get jacked up. Milwaukee Bucks, Ray Allen color. I meant to say the Ray Allen's in the Milwaukee Bucks color. I'm a Bulls fan, but I'm rocking these bad boys today. One little detail that I like about these is that inside it says Ray Y'all can see that. It says Ray. And, you know, him throwing up the jump shot. Pretty cool, man. That's Why are people wearing those Yeezys? How, how comfortable are they? They're very comfortable. Are they really? Yes. Yeezy 700. So the side of them. A lot of people just didn't even buy them when they came out, but you know what? They're super comfy. You chose comfort over, over, like over hype, huh? I like the color. That's what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. So we made it. Drip cold. We're here. A little early. Slowly waiting on them to uh, open up the, the the doors. What's up, man? Good to see you again, <laughs> see bro. You too. All right. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up? All right, all right. What's up, big dog? All right, man. So we here at SoCo new location. It's a lot bigger than the last one too. A lot bigger. <laughs> Keeping the flow clean, you know. I dig it. What up? What up? So we got. The man Tran over here. Man, don't look at through. me. I'm like tore up. Oh, this is going on YouTube, baby. <laughs> he had a little rough night last night, but he came through. Came through to check out the sneaker store. <laughs> what up, bro? Got the, the one and only. Y'all know who this guy is. He becoming YouTube famous on every other video. I don't know about that. Yeah. He came through to show some love to SoCo as well. You know? We in here, though. We in here. We got the NBA. Oh, whoa. We got the Ric Flair. That's the only one graded by Panini. There's only seven oh, of them wow. in the world. Only one graded by Panini. Ric Flair. Autograph. We got the Kobe for 200. That's definitely catching my eye. Ooh, Lord. That's a king. Uh, Kyle Lewis. What you got over there? Oh, man. I got one of my favorite cars right here. Never seen an Ultra Rip, but. I like that one. Mm. Make me an offer. Yeah, make me an offer. Make me an offer. You can't refuse. After I get my raise, I just might. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got some, some heat on the feet. What you think? I like 
like them. How do they feel? I got those ones and the blue ones. You got the other ones too? Yeah, I got both pairs. Oh. I haven't, well, yeah, I that's why I said I bought those for myself. I, I got them, I just ain't more because I'm like, oh, I, don't, I, I don't want to bust them out. You bust them out for a friend. Yeah, these are pretty crazy. It's a track stop a beat, y'all. So, <laughs> as you guys see, I picked up a pair of Union, uh, I was about to call them Dunks again. I don't know why I keep, I looked at so many Dunks in that store is why I keep calling them Dunks. Dunks are on my mind. I picked up a pair of the Union Jordan, the Jordan, Air Jordan 2s, Unions. So, we're about to go to the mall, which is literally right up the street. We're going to go pick up um, those Citrus 7s that came out. It's just a fun, fun birthday weekend so far. You know, I'm having fun. Take a little break from grabbing sneakers, get some food. Look at these pretty drinks. That's, in, that's not even alcoholic. It's just a little, just a little smoothie thing. Look at that. Hey, nah. We are back. We are back. Made it back to the to my sneaker box. I like to call it this my shoe room, uh, my shoe box, because it's like a big box with nothing but shoes in it. You know. I want y'all be taking my ideas and calling y'all room shoe boxes. I already said. It. <laughs> but no, made it back home. Been a good day today. Enjoying my day so far. Um, went over to Soko Drift new location today. They did the uh, the grand opening for their new store location. I thought that was pretty cool. Just a lot of people started coming in, checking them out. They was making sales and stuff. Uh, it was cool to wear these uh, Jordan Seven Ray Allens for the first time. I've had these shoes since they first came out and have not worn them at all until today. And not a bad shoe to wear, y'all, honestly. Not bad at all. You know, nice to bust them out. I know a lot of people sleeping on these when they came out, but hey, you know what? That's what makes me like the shoe even better because I'm not trying to be like everybody else. I am myself. Got to pick up these Jordan 7 Citrus today. Two pairs, actually. I don't need to put both of them out. I am just going to pull one out so y'all can see, bam. So I know a lot of people are saying, hey, the sneaker's gonna sit, the sneaker's gonna sit. That's fine with me because I'm the type of person that if a sneaker's sitting and I like it, it's better for me. I don't have to worry about fighting bots. I don't have to worry about, you know, people trying to snatch every single shoe up so they can sell it. It's perfect enough for me to be able to get me a, a pair and I'm okay with that. I know a lot of people don't rock with sevens like that, teach his own, but I am so glad that I was able to pick up Multiple pairs of these, multiple pairs of these, you know? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cause ain't no telling when these gonna come out again, you know? And I feel like this, if you're trying to resell sneakers, that's cool, that's fine and dandy, you know? But if a sneaker's sitting on the wall and you're not a, you're not a reseller, then I, you know, be glad. 
You know? Don't buy something just because everybody else is buying. It. Don't be that guy that's just that's like, oh, these, these it's, it's so much hype on the sneaker, you buy it. Because now you're buying it for other people instead of yourself. You're buying it for other people to approve of what you wear and what, what's your favorite sneaker. Like I know it's I honestly know guys out there who love sevens more than they love other Jordan silhouettes. And you know what? That is, in my opinion, is perfectly fine. You know, just because you don't like something that everybody else like doesn't make you any better or worse. It makes you yourself, you know? But <laughs> let me stop, man. But uh, yeah, went to SoCo Drip today. Today's little, uh, they, uh, they grand opening today for the, South, uh, the Colorado Springs location. It's pretty cool. It's good to see those guys. As always, it's good energy. Every time I go over there and rock with them, I'm gonna continue to rock with them. So if you guys are ever in the Colorado Springs area, be sure to check them out, man. They're gonna have something in there that y'all want. And as you see, I picked up these Jordan Unions, Union 2s. And uh, pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about that. As you see, uh, I had laced it back up because when I was in the store, they actually let me try it on. And I was like, whoa, okay. Because I know some places don't even want y'all to try to sneak her on. And it was like, nah, man, you're good, you're good. Go on and try to sneak her on, see if you like it or not. Because for these, these, um, these actually, I'm a true to size for a size nine. But when I tried these on, eight and a half, I was like, oh, okay, uh, it's a <clears throat> excuse me, not bad. I'm like, you know, it actually fit okay. So, made a little purchase. These were actually going to be my next pair of twos I, I was planning on getting, honestly. And um, I'm, I'm honestly can say I'm, I'm, I'm not disappointed. I'm glad I snatched these when I could because, you know, who's to say that the, the, the sneaker market won't go back up and these start reselling and stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. Got me a pair today. Enjoying this birthday weekend, man. It's, it's, it's been a blast so far. Oh, yeah. Also, picking up some force fields, too. You gotta take care of your kicks, you know? You gotta take care of your kicks. Speaking of force fields, um, right quick. These actually, I put a pair of force fields in because of the material, you know, you can get wrinkles in these easily. Always rock the force fields, depending on the sneakers. Some sneakers you don't need them in. Like, you're not gonna wear a pair of force fields in a pair of foams, you know what I mean? Me personally, I don't even think you need to wear a pair of force fields in a pair of Jordan uh, 11s either, you know what I mean? So it depends on the sneaker, the quality material to keep it from looking all messed up when you wear it. Uh, these are gonna wrinkle too when I do wear them, but just judging between the difference in these Ray Allens and these Citrus, the quality in this is just a tad bit butter, man. This seems a little bit more tough. This seems like that's just that buttery feel, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. These are cool. Nice little pickup. But, yeah, man. This so-called drip. Reopened a day. Picked up a couple of sneakers today. And, uh, as always, it's been a good day. Good sneaker release day. So, if you guys ever get a chance i'm gonna say it again just to remind you check them out you're gonna you're gonna you won't be disappointed if you go in a little store and check them out trust me they're good dudes good energy it's it's always a good experience when you go there you know and that's what we want if you're going somewhere you know yeah you're spending your money but you also want to feel like you're valued as a customer and i kind of feel like those guys do just that with all their customers you know from, at least from what i've seen you know but uh birthday weekend i am going to conclude this video for the day probably get myself in a little something the day is still the day is still young and uh i have a lot more things i can do and get myself into you know so i'm gonna go and do that enjoy myself with the family until next time i will see you guys again on the next one stay blessed stay fresh love your loved ones like there's no tomorrow and we will see you guys on the next video peace